Arizona State. His first crack at Yanni Diakamahal, as these two have not wrestled before. Parco and Diak Mahalis underway. Right away you see Yanni get into an elbow control. Pawn at the head. Taking the deep underhook on the left side is Yanni driving forward. Parco meeting it with some resistance. And Yanni really great from everywhere. Can generate attacks both sides. Got great duck unders. If you've watched him scramble when guys are on his legs, when he's probably at his most impressive. He's just so fluid, aggressive uh, in the scramble. Gets a lot of counter takedowns. If guys can get in on him, which is happening less and less as he continues to improve. For years, he's been juggling elite folk style and elite freestyle. Been uh, on the cusp of making teams and, and punched through last year and was able to make the final... Uh, the world finals. Yeah. Second place on the planet. It's pretty good. Parko gets to a collar. Yanni attacks off if they can't get to the leg. Controls the elbows now. Parko kind of buries that head in the chest. Shoulder pops and pawn at the head there is, is Yanni. Again, his career at 141 pounds for Cornell. There's a shot now underneath. Parco catches it, trying to work from short offense. And he's trying to snap, and then Yanni, Yanni didn't move much at all. It's probably not the, the typical reaction Parco gets when he pulls. Yeah, Yanni knows what people are going to do before they do it sometimes. Adjust accordingly, and 112 to go. No score here in the first period. Underhook on that left side. It's got Parco's elbow elevated, now cleared out. Looking for that single. They're going to hit Parco for stalling. Arizona State staff not a fan. And we're back here in this short offense situation for Parco. Oh, nice little drag. Yanni to the leg over on the edge. Going to try to pull it back. Pulls it back a second effort. Parko up on one foot. Wants to stay close to that line. Yanni gets Whoa. way up in the air. Parko jumps on his back almost. Parko, solid job defending so far. Five seconds to go. No. No. And they're going to go out of bounds as time runs out. So 0 0 scoreless first period. And that, you think, favors Parko. So close here. On that replay, Yanni looking, looking, catch the ankle. Yeah, no. So scoreless first period for Parco. Gotta be feeling pretty decent about that. And Yanni jumps the gun a little bit. Another one of those. Tries to time the whistle. Yeah, oh, it starts. Arizona State Steph is referring pace, conditioning. They're saying Yanni's tired. I don't know if they think that's going to be a um, potential weapon or opportunity for them. But Yanni not, not known for fatiguing in matches. There's a quick escape, though. Parco up and away immediately. Has a 1-0 lead. I think it was about three seconds of riding time on the clock.
Parko oh, to the leg this. here. Yanni's tough in these positions. Parko stuck out front, trying to come out the back door. Yanni's got the weight on his head. Those kind of got him trapped up, and Yanni kind of attacking that leg. Now he goes back to the box on the crotch and ways. Sometimes he'll try to lock around the leg, and he's going to try to attack that near leg, bending his own leg. Parko trying not to get crunched up. Yanni taking that knee uh -oh. towards the head, thinking cradle potentially threatening with the cradle which is going to open up the takedown and Yanni scores two off of Parko's shot more great counter wrestling from, from Yanni not a bad shot from Parko but he's able to walk around and threaten that near side cradle Parko's got to give it up and now it's 2-1 lead for Yanni who's going to get this right Turk across that throat he's close with that bottom leg Turk Ooh, just losing it knee comes through Yeah, I think a bow and arrow. arrow. Holding on to that foot. I don't know that I've seen Yanni hit this before. I'm yeah. saying he doesn't know it or know how to, but. Yeah, it would be a new one for me as well, but it's a tough ride here. 45 seconds of riding time and climbing is the second period. is going to come to an end for Yanni. Counter takedown puts him in the driver's seat now, leading 2-1 as we head to the third. So we'll take a look at that. That takedown here, again, it's Parko in on the leg. And Yanni eventually coming through and get, getting the two. Yanni getting set here. We're about to wrestle. And we're underway. Parko on top, Diak Mahalis underneath with a 2-1 lead to start the third period. Yanni up to his feet. Good Clear. motion, cartwheel, he's oh, away. Nice job. Yanni frees himself, 3-1 lead now. Minute 40 seconds to go in our final bout of the evening. Cornell already leading by four. I need a Hail Mary from Parko to, to win this dual meet. See if Yanni fires another attack here. Try to build his lead a little bit. 60 seconds to go. Good pull there from Yanni. Creating some openings. Shot from Parko. Nothing doing there, 40 seconds to go now. Take down foot, Parko ties it, though he needs to take down and ride. But it's easier nice said than single. done, and like oh, that, wow. Yanni ices this one, puts a takedown on, it's gonna go up by four now, 5-1 with 30 seconds to go, and that riding time very well may make the one minute mark as well. Oh, one escape, nice Yanni right back in on Whoa. a takedown. And a little exclamation point for Yanni. Gonna put a bow on this one for the Big Red. With riding time, an 8-2 win for Yanni Diakamahalas. Solid finish from the Cornell senior. Your winner, way to cap representing off his Cornell movie. University, Yanni Diakamahalas. So you see the Cornell bench, Yanni. The traditional handshake after the duel. Coaches 